If you've ever wondered, what should I be doing with myself, or what do I do next? Michael A. Singer might have the answer in this book, The Surrender Experiment. It's the story of his life and how, in his early 20s, he was looking for peace. He started to recognize the chatter inside his head, that voice that sometimes was saying positive things, sometimes it was saying negative things, but it was just incessant. It was really, really bugging him, the voice inside his head. So he turned on a meditation. He started meditating like crazy, moved out into a tent in the woods, and was meditating day and night. And then um, he wanted to surrender. He wanted to surrender to life, knowing that the universe has greater wisdom than he has in the direction his life should be taking. And instead of listening to the voice inside his head, he listened to the universe. So an opportunity came um, for him to build a little house on his property. So he said, okay, I'm going to embrace this. I'm going to build the house, even though I have no building skills. He was trying to ignore that voice. And then another uh, person asked him to build a house. And he said, no, I don't want to build a house. All I want to do is just sit out here in my own little house and meditate. But he was trying to let go of that inner voice and just surrender to life. And surrendering to life brought him an extremely successful um, construction business. He actually had a kind of a world-renowned IT business building software and it's just a beautiful story of what can happen when we stop trying to force ourselves in a certain direction hustle 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 for something and just move in the direction we feel we should be moving in and then become open to what life is bringing our way surrendering to the opportunities that come to us even if our initial internal reaction is no let's walk away from this just being open to what life brings.